Today, I'd like to share my method of retouching fitness portraits. For starters, retouching like photography can vary from creative to creative, and everyone's eye is slightly different. So my thought process when retouching portraits is that the final image should look both natural and believable. I don't want my images to have unbelievably smooth skin, and I don't want to lose any skin texture. Therefore, I'm going to use a method of retouching called frequency separation, along with using miscellaneous tools housed within Adobe Photoshop CC. Now, don't be alarmed if you've never heard or used frequency separation before. It's merely a series of steps we take with an image to separate the skin texture from the colors of the skin. That way, we're not moving around pores and textures unnecessarily, and you can clean up your portraits with as little fuss as possible. I have a reasonably short tutorial on how to create those steps, but for those of you that don't have the time or patience, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so that you can download an action I created to automate those steps for free, along with a link on where to find the Lightroom preset I used to create this specific image. We'll get to use that action shortly, but for now, let's start off by discussing the areas that I'd like to fix in this image before we start editing. At a quick glance, my subject has great looking skin, which makes retouching a lot easier than someone with more skin blemishes. But as I look closer into the image, I can start to see small imperfections like pimples, large pores, and a couple of small color inconsistencies in his skin. Once I've identified the areas that I'd like to correct, it's time to select the appropriate tools to fix those areas. In this case, I start by running the frequency separation action that I mentioned before. The frequency separation action will separate both the skin color and the skin texture onto two independent layers, and the background will be left unmodified so that you always have a reference image in the background. For those of you that are using my action, you'll want to start off by selecting the color layer and then selecting the patch tool. In this case, I want to remove this small pimple. To do that, simply circle around the pimple while the color layer is selected and then replace it with a similar tone to the skin around it. If the texture of the skin is inconsistent, like in this image, select the texture layer, circle the area that you'd like to correct, and replace that specific texture with a similar texture to the skin around it. So just like that, the pimple's gone. It gives you a chance to separate the skin texture from the skin color, therefore making the process a lot easier and a lot cleaner. For time's sake, I'm going to do this throughout the whole image quickly so that we're not spending unnecessary time seeing this process. When I come back, we'll start removing some of the scars that he has on his body and then do some slight contouring on his physique. Okay, so here's a quick before and after shot so that you can see where we are at the present moment. All of the minor blemishes around the image are gone. We're now left with just subtle coloring consistencies around his chest and abdomen, which happens to be a lot easier to edit. Simply select the color layer, circle around the areas that you'd like to correct, and replace it with a more appropriate skin tone for that spot. We're gonna do this quickly throughout the whole image so that we're left with nothing but a clean image that we can start contouring. Okay, now comes the fun part, contouring, which simply means creating your own shadows and highlights. To do that, we're gonna create two curve adjustment layers above our frequency separation layers. Rename the bottom curve adjustment layer Dodge and the top curve adjustment layer Burn. Select the Dodge layer and increase the exposure of your image so that it's slightly overexposed. Press Command plus I on a Mac to invert your layer, which is Control plus I if you're using a PC. Select the Burn layer and lower the exposure of your image so that it's slightly underexposed. Press Command plus I on a Mac to invert the layer, which is Control plus I if you're on a PC, and then set both layers to luminosity. Select your paintbrush tool, and now you're ready to create your own shadows and highlights. So for this specific image, I'm going to brighten up his biceps so that they appear slightly larger and also brighten up key areas around his face. To do that, be sure to select your paintbrush tool, and be sure that you're set to 100% opacity and a fairly low flow. In my case, I'm set at 16%. This makes it so that your paintbrush is almost like a real paintbrush in real life. You have nice graduated changes. Finally, be sure that your brush is set to white. Now, anything that you paint while on your dodge layer will lighten that part of the image. Similarly, anything that you paint while on your burn layer will darken that part of the image. If you happen to make a mistake, simply change the paintbrush back to black and paint over the area you want to correct. 
So now I'll quickly go through my image, lightening and darkening key areas to better define his physique. A lot of this will be subjective, but I tend to use a combination of lights and shadows in the image to create more depth and make parts look bigger or smaller depending on what I'm trying to accomplish. And that's it. That's a basic introduction on how I retouch fitness portraits. Short, sweet, and to the point. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a fantastic day, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.